in a dream together. Both happen to be in sleeping in the laboratory and we're wired up. So how can we prove to ourselves and anyone else that we really were in the same room? Okay. And now to distinguish same room, what I mean by that, I don't mean that we're all gonna share a dream now. Let's just do it. And what we're gonna do is we're all gonna run downstairs and across the field and jump in the swimming pool. Okay, down there. That's okay. So let's all just imagine doing it together, right? So there we go, across that cold grass, running in, we jump in, splash, okay? That's all, okay, now, hey, yeah, cold or whatever it might be, or weird, take your pick, but hey, I just had a dream. We were all jumping in the swimming pool together, and you say, well, me too, right? So we shared a dream in that sense, right? Now, but we didn't share a scene. We shared a theme, or I say, dream about doing that. But, but we weren't there together in the same way as we're here together, right? So how can we tell the difference between the information transfer that we saw in these studies and actually being present, like floating around the body and reading what's right in front of you there is not the same as finding out the information on some other level of the universe, right? So how can we show that we're not just sharing a theme, but we're really here together? We agree on signal imagery. Yeah, so we have a signal in the dream. And actually, it's a very simple signal that can completely prove the whole thing. All we have to do, we know that if I look at my left ear and right ear and left ear and right ear, my brain is connected to the eyes in my body, and they will move left, right, left, right, exactly corresponding to my gaze in the dream. So, if we look at the same object together, we should have correlated eye movements that wherever our two brains may be, they will show the same pattern. But in fact, in this case, so let's just, hey, we're in the dream, let's prove it. All we have to do, follow the movement of my finger here, right, with your eyes back and forth like that. So I'm moving right, left, right, and you're moving exactly the opposite, but at the same time. And that connects with we're face to face following like in a mirror, right? So if that were to happen, we would have a strong evidence for there being another form of mutual dreaming other than this one, right? This is a form of mutual dreaming we're all experiencing now because we each have a dream in our minds that's what's happening, but they're correlated, right? That's the waking state, the physical world. So that's all it would take to do. So it seems to me that if you're interested in proving that mutual dreaming happens, it doesn't make sense to do anything else. That's so simple and it's so completely evidential, right? It's not the same thing as, well, we'll, you know, we'll meet and I'll tell you a secret, you know? Okay, and I'll give the secret. What does that prove? That proves maybe I got some information, right? It doesn't prove we were in the world together, right? So if that's what we want to say, say we actually can be in another world together in the same way as we are now. That's it. Then you've got to do something that shows that the sensory motor correlations that each person experiences fit together as if we were in the same space. 